speaking about people who are trying to be something special, who want to be seen. There's always, ladies, you know this, there's always going to be some woman who's prettier, who has better hair, who has a better shape, who's younger, who's fit, who may sing better. Men, there's always going to be a man that's stronger, taller, faster, um, somebody that's always smarter than you. There's always going to be somebody that's richer than you. There's always going to be somebody that's at that level, even if at for the time being, you are the greatest thing since sliced bread. There's always going to be somebody who has a bigger, brighter star, a greater celebrity. There's always going to be that person. No matter how great you get, no matter how strong you get, no matter how rich or wealthy, or how famous, how whatever you get, there will always be somebody who will outdo you. But as long as you and I live, as long as there is a globe, as long as there's anything, there will never, ever, ever, ever be anybody that is better or greater in any way, shape, form, or fashion than Jesus. The only celebrity, the only superstar that there is or ever will be. How great is he? So great, so great that when it's all said and done, there's going to be two sides. There's going to be a victorious side and there's going to be a losing side. The victorious side will clap and cheer forever and ever and worship and adore him and plead and praise his wonderful name forever. That's how great he is. But let me tell you how great he is even more so on the losing side. That losing side, guess what they're going to do? The exact same thing. They'll do it in the wrong place, so, but they'll still confess his name. They'll still look at him and know that he is God. How awesome, how great is that when even your haters, your detractors, the ones that did not love you, the one that did not support you, the one that turned their back on you, still in the end say exactly who you are and proclaim you to be king of kings and lords of lords. That's how awesome he is. That's why we give our attention to him, not to any man, not to any preacher, not to any book, but to him. Amen.